Okay, welcome back to uh, week two. We're going to be starting uh, from the uh, Helsinki uh, MOOC uh, for Java. And in this video, I'm going to be doing exercises, I believe, 25 and 26, as you see here on the screen. Um, so I'm, again, I'm making these for my students. So uh, may hear some references to things I've done in class, but otherwise they should be helpful, hopefully, for everyone. So let's first take a look at uh, the problem, and this is exercise 25. It says, create a program that asks the user for three numbers and prints their sum. So use the following structure in your program. So they've given you some of the code, so we could just copy that. Uh, and they've also shown you some potential output. Okay, so type the first number, type the second number, and type the third number. So something to think about when you're solving a problem is, or a programming problem, or any problem, is what do you want to know at the end? And clearly, in this case, we want to know the sum. Okay? And we want to know the sum of what? In this case, it's three different numbers. Okay, so uh, we need to ask the user for three different numbers. Notice they are integers, so we have to keep that in mind. And the result is also an integer. And this kind of tells you a little bit here, gives you a little bit of a hint. Okay, so we're going to be using a scanner, uh, and then we're going to be using two ints, sum and read, and then we'll be printing out using systemout.println. So let's go over here. I am using repl.it uh, slash languages slash Java, and it's a really convenient online uh, place to run your Java code. And uh, it just, yeah, it's just really nice. You don't have to worry about your computer setup and all those little different problems you have. So I'm going to go ahead and paste the code in. Now it's in the wrong spot. Um, actually, all of it's in the wrong spot, so let's get rid of that. So I'm going to put that inside the main method here, inside my main class. And Replit kind of gives you that to get started, which is quite nice of them. And I'm going to tab all that over. And here we go. So we are given sum and read. And one thing we need to do here is if we're going to be actually using the scanner, we need to actually import it. So import java.util.scanner. Note the capitalization, capital S. Okay, and note that it is outside of class main. Let me put that up and above. Okay, so it says write your program here. Use only the variables sum, reader, and read. Okay, so I can't do x equals, y equals, or z equals. It's telling me I can only use sum and read. Okay, so, all right, let's do that. So if we look again at the output, we see the first thing is type the first number, and it is, I'm going to type three, let's say. So I'm going to go system.out.println, and I'm going to put this at the end. And what I do in this case is I'm just going to copy this because I'm going to be typing this a bazillion times. And it was what type, let's see, type the first number, and I like, we'll put a little caray at the end. Let me move that over. And so then I need to get my input. So I have to use read and read equals. And what I'm going to do is I'll show you quick. I'm going to use reader.next line. And what that will do is it will actually give me, it'll stop the program, it'll ask me to enter. Uh, a number, I'll enter something, and when I enter it, it adds that value to here. Now, the only thing you got to keep in mind is that this always returns a string. Now, since read is an integer, we need to convert it. So I'm going to use the integer class, integer dot, oops, integer dot parse int. I'm going to put that inside of that. And what that will do is it'll take whatever I type here, an input, and convert it to an integer, and then assign that value to read. Um, so now you got to think about what do I want to do with that value? So what I want to do with it is I want to add it to the sum. So sum starts out as zero. Okay. So I will do this. Uh, sum plus equals read. Or if you find it easier, I can say sum equals sum plus read. Okay, but I'm going to stick to the, the easier, shorter shortcut kind of here, plus equals read. So let me run that and see what happens. And it takes a little, it takes a second to compile. It says type the first number, and uh, three. So the sum of three. So zero plus three is three. 
very clear. Um, now notice how this came to the next line. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this to print instead of print ln, and you'll see what happens here once it compiles. Okay, so now you see how it didn't automatically go to the next line. So print ln adds a carriage return at the end. Um, print does not. Okay, so I hit three and enter, and I still get sum is three. And I always recommend this to students is if you have something that's going to be repeating especially, get it working perfectly for one. And then I can just go ahead and copy it. And since I need three numbers, I'm going to copy it twice. Oops. More code folding there. Oops. And tab. And so we have a first number, a second number, and a third number. So let's try that. Oops. And let it compile. So the first number. And let's just check to make sure it matches the example. So we're going to do 3, 6, and 12. So 3, 6, and 12. And the sum is 21. Voila. Now if we want to make it make sure it looks exactly like this, we can put a blank line in there. So what we could do is we actually put a forward slash and n, and that will actually go to the next line. So I'm going to run that. Just Every time I make a change, I want to test it, make sure that what I'm doing is correct. Um, again, I find with beginning students, a lot of times they think what they've done is correct and they go on and then later they realize there's an error, but because they didn't test it right away, they have troubles finding the error. So we can see 3 plus 6 is 9, plus 12 is 21. Voila. Okay, so that is exercise number 25. Okay, so let me put that. Okay, so let's go back now. Uh, and I'm going to do 26 in this video as well. So create a program that reads numbers from the user and prints their sum. The program should stop asking for numbers when the user enters the number zero. The program should be structured like this. Okay, so again, they're giving you the starter code. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's copy that. And what's different about this program is it prints the sum every time, and then also prints the sum at the end, so these should match. Okay, uh, So once I hit enter 0, it prints out sum in the end. And they've actually given you most of that structure here. Okay, So this is a very similar to the program we just did, so we can use kind of some of those concepts as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to delete number 25. I'm going to paste in what they've given me for 26, and hopefully I can tab the whole thing over. Yes. Okay, sweet. Okay, so again, I still have my import here. And this is, again, this is number 26. So it says, while true, read the integer. This is what we did in the last one. And then if it's a zero, break. What break does, it doesn't stop the program. It takes you out of the current loop that you're in. So it will end this loop and then go to this next line. Okay, so what we need to do, and it says nicely, do something here, is exactly what we just did. We're going to do read. Actually, it didn't get, we have to add read here. So int read. So read equals. And I'll do it the same way I did last. Oh, actually, I'm sorry. No, it's right there. Okay, so int read. Okay, so we'll do it their way. Okay, so let's try that. And so then what I got to do, actually, basically, it's done for you. you just do sum plus equals read. And that should basically do it. Um, so they're basically giving you the whole code. Wow, that was nice of them. So let me run that and just make sure it works. And oh, okay, so there's no there's no me message here asking for a number. So I'm gonna hit enter one. So plus two plus yeah, three, six, ten, five. I'm gonna hit zero. And sum in the end is 15. Okay, so maybe I guess the key to this particular problem is realizing that you've got a loop, okay, and inside this loop you are reading an integer each time through the loop. If it's a zero, this is sometimes referred to as the base case, so if it's a zero, we just break and we get out and we print, you know, sum in the end. Um, if it's not a zero, we're going to add that value to the sum. So basically, we really only had to add one line to get that 
to work. So thanks very much to the MOOC people for that. Okay, so I'm going to stop this video here. Uh, please stay tuned for the next video in the series.